I'm talking about this knock. I'm talking about the squirrel cookies. You want cookies for dinner? Yeah. The what? circle ones. Oh, the circle ones. I want the circle cookies for dinner. Is is that good for you just to eat cookies for dinner? Yeah. It is? But shouldn't you eat vegetables and stuff like that? Actually, I want... I say we want chicken with ketchup. Ch chicken with ketchup? That I sounds want, awesome. I want chicken with ketchup right now. Mm, well, how do you how do you ask for something like that? Please, please have some chicken. so cool cookies, please. Peace out. Please. So another complication is um, I snapped my little pinky toe today. I busted it a few times as a kid, and um, I clipped it on the edge of something that was wooden today as I was hustling with no shoes on. And I heard it snap, and then I went to the ground, and now it's like super swollen. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> so there it is. Pardon the fungi nail, but that's going to provide some challenges today. It's all swollen, and you know when you go to wiggle it, you forget that it's broken. You wiggle it, and then you take a big old... Ah! deep breath so we'll get around that today right because that's what we do right buddy all right so we got our little shop set up here give you a little uh got our saw over here and i got the little uh the dust catcher on the back use that as little as possible so as not to dust us out got the trailer stabilized so i can get in and out uh, without doing a wheelie so one of the things I bought is this is a workout mat that my daughter uses. This is an extra half inch thick. And you've seen it in the videos. I put it in and out of here as I'm working and I put my knees on it so I don't blow my knees out. And it's worked out so well that I did a ton of research looking for something to put down. I was thinking uh, foldable gym mats, which are always super comfortable. But they only got them in like purple and weird colors and they're actually kind of expensive. So. It's cool because they break down into a two by four pile, but I went ahead and found uh, some one inch thick MMA mats, uh, about a hundred bucks for this whole box. I'm gonna end up with more than I need. I'm gonna cut it to fit, cut it around some of those corners and stuff. Um, so that's gonna be the base. And then I'll put a really nice rug over the top and that'll be our flooring. I do plan to stain this wooden thing like I talked about. I got to sand off all those bed liner fingerprint marks when I was working with it. And uh, we will stain that. But I want to put the liner, the rug, so when we're in there and then it'll be easy to clean. You can yank everything out, clean everything. And then I went ahead and got three more dowels. dowels that's right. We went with the thicker ones like we talked about. So I'm going to cut those to fit nice and tight. Once I get that done, I did draw up a little plan, and uh, I drew this up at work. I'm missing a thumbnail there from that thing that happened earlier. Uh, I drew this up at work because after we finished making this last Sunday night, um, I kept going through it in my head when I go to sleep how I'm going to build this bed. I want to fold it, make it the right size. So after two nights of not sleeping, I figured uh, Wednesday, I just better write it out on paper. So this is my diagram written out on paper and I'm gonna see if I can make it work. It's gonna have hinges, uh, it's gonna be foldable and I'm repeating myself. So it's about time to get to work, here we go. All right, we're gonna cut this board in here. It's gonna create a lot of dust. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to force the dust out. So we've opened this window and we're letting in some of that air that's coming right at us. And if we crack the garage door, son, it should suck out the dust. So we put this little napkin here and it should get sucked out when we open it. Oh yeah, so let's put that there. Yeah, we did it twice. Let's commence the cutting. Sleep on that thing? Up in the air? Yeah. Oh, cool. So, what I'm going to do is um, this will be the part where the mat goes on. I'm going to bed rail it now. But I'm going to put a hinge in the middle there so I can actually, uh, so I can fold it in half. So, it's fairly light. Get this all together here. So we'll see where we get from here. So when I fold it in half, we'll be able to use, we'll be able to flip it sideways like this and use it as a table. Yeah, like that. Or we, you know, play cards or a game or something like that. With a hinge though, what's gonna happen is, if this is the male side of the bed and I flip it over, technically the female side with the rails on top will be up. That might be, that might not be very comfortable so I wonder if I could instead of hinges I could just latch it together and then unlatch it all right so we got this bed close to being done right now Right now, I have it in the storage position. I need to figure out a way to notch these so these won't move. Yeah. Not only that, I need to figure out a way to secure these so when we're driving, stuff ain't bouncing around. I guess I could just put it on the floor or something. It doesn't need to be up there. Yeah. But while we're hanging out, this can act as, you know, a storage area and up I'll, here. And the popcorn. Did the popcorn? <laughs> There's no popcorn. Anymore. I know. So once we're done with the storage area, I'm gonna have to borrow you. Come over here and stand up there. So we could put stuff up here while we're hanging out. We could also, I think, what I'm gonna do is put our bedding up here while we're driving and stuff. But either way. It is a storage area, nonetheless. Hopefully you see how that worked there. Go for it, buddy.
You able to sleep up there? Yeah. <laughs> Probably not for too long because you're just not getting any smaller, but that's what we've come up with in terms of maximizing space, minimizing weight, and we can we can take it all apart when uh, if we want to open this up, we can fold this up, lean it up against the wall, put all these dowels up here, and have the whole camper open. Or we can do that. So I think we'll drop it down and we'll try out the, um, the table part. You want to climb on down? Yeah. I'll just hold the dowels. Don't try this at home. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Yeah. Pretty much. That'll work, huh? Yeah, just pretend this is bowl of chips. So, for Saturday night, we're going to call it a night. Um, my favorite thing on earth starts in 10 minutes. Yep. But we did get, we got the system figured out, we got the bed figured out, we have the table figured out, the shelving figured out. Tomorrow I'm going to put the, the padded floor in. I'm going to figure out a way to notch this on both sides so this is stable. Also when it's turned the other way it's stable too. Um, and then we're going to try to get the TV hung up here. So. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'm stuck in the garage. Listen to uh, the beautiful sounds of Hawaii. So we got the little cutouts to rest on the dowels. Hopefully I measured right. Sand it down the rough edges so it's smooth there. Hand mom your soda. Let's see if you fit. I think I'm going to call this a one season bed because probably by next season he'll be a lot taller than this. But for now it'll work, right? Yeah. It's okay. If <laughs> Are you asleep up there? I was. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Afternoon. It's two o'clock on Sunday, and looks like we got the bed done up there. Got the notches cut out, so that keeps the bed from rolling back and forth. In fact, it's really stable. So that's going to work really well. He'll outgrow it in a year or less, but it'll work for the next few trips we're going to take here soon, and we are going to document our camping trips. We decided to just make the bed the table. Less wood, less stuff to worry about. Um, we'll just deal with this big ridge, you know. You know, it's for... So I got these cut in. Got the little divots cut in here on both sides. Makes it really stable. And then we flip around, open it up, and it rests up there as the bed pretty good. So we'll see how long that works.
doing, bud? Okay, got the TV in there. Got it mounted, playing some games. I'll dial in all those cords so they don't look so hokey. Any bigger on that TV just would have been way too um, huge for in here. So, 22 incher. And he's up there playing because he wants to be up there. <laughs> all right, time to clean up a little bit. We're gonna get this, the fatted, we're gonna, we're gonna get the padded foam. We're gonna get the padded floor cut now. I got that one inch MMA mat stuff and I'm just cutting it around these, these uh, support boards for the uh, bed and the shelf system. So I'm gonna cut all the way around and then come back so the seam will be off centered. Because I wanna use all of one section if I can, if I have to cut the other one. I wanna only have to cut one side. So it's coming in pretty nice. And then on top of this, we'll do some really nice rug thing or something. So everything can be removed and cleaned and and then, of course, we will stain this eventually, like I've said 50 times. All right, so I'm in here flooring this thing. Cutting these mats to fit the floor, and we're watching TV. The dream is coming true. So, if you've been watching our little YouTube videos, just search Tire Guy 1000 on YouTube, and you'll see how we built this camper from the frame up. We're not done yet, but today we got in the, the uh, flooring on top of the hardwood which is basically an MMA mat cut down to uh, 4x8. And then we also installed our TV in here. And Kobe's bed's been installed up there. And uh, you want to see how it happened? Yeah, just check out our YouTube videos. There'll be a new one up tonight for everybody, too. So the next videos will be all exterior, getting that all done. All right, everybody. It is uh, 7.01. Sunday night and it is the fourth and we got the TV done and uh, we got the flooring done which is that one inch thick mat and it's all cut around all the boards and it fits in super tight and he's been up there watching TV the whole time I've been working down here and we are excited so the interior other than framings around the windows and stuff like that is really pretty much done so like I said before, I'm going to take some time off and I'm going to try to get the interior, the exterior completely sanded and done in like three or four days. And then I got the plates back, which was the nightmare from the DMV. Um, and then we just got to put on the wiring and stuff. So we're real close and I um, can't believe it's been five months, but thanks for all the kind comments. You guys have a good night. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>